nice Atlantic bluefish. They're kind of uh, they migrate migrate up and down the the coast, probably from northern Florida to to the Bay of Fundy, which is up in the uh, Canadian Maritimes. So. They follow the squid and the mackerel up there. They prey upon them. They're a little skinny in the uh, little skinny in the spring and summer, but they come back. This will be this guy would be out here like that. Nice fat, nice fat, full fish. So we'll take a little off of him. They get to be like 35, 36 inches. That's one of the bigger ones for this time of year. He's been he's been eating fairly well. So let's see what happens when we open him up. Not a bad looking fish. Certainly new. I can tell he's one of the leaner ones. He has, he's, like I say, he's a, he's a different, different critter in the fall when they come back after they've eaten a lot. Let me put him there. Sometimes I like to go and see what they've been eating. So this is his stomach, I believe. I'm trying to think what might be in there, but. They eat, this one's pretty well pulverized. He did a good job of chopping that one up. It does probably either herring or mackerel of some kind. Fleshy, bony. They follow the, the herring, the mackerel, the squid up into the Canadian Maritimes and return in the fall when they're full. So we'll take the skin off and put him in there to see if we can sell him this afternoon. Nice fresh piece of bluefish. Just skin it and just kind of put your knife in between the skin and the flesh. Zip out a couple of those rib, rib bones. Shave a little of the belly off. Fresh blue for the night. That is. That's a yummy fish. What are some uh, popular ways to prepare it? Uh, you know what? I'll tell you. But it's, it's, uh, I used to sell it to a restaurant that made a nice glaze out of uh, it was yogurt, plain yogurt, honey, and Dijon mustard. Sounds a little strange, but on top of the blue, it comes out really good. So you mix out, mix out all, but make a nice little glaze. I've done, uh, I've done bluefish with a pineapple mustard that with a red onion all over it too. Nice. So Dijon's good. Well, plain is really good if you're a purist. Leave it alone. But a lot of times, the Italians do the uh, simmered in tomatoes. Olives, capers, peppers, onions, bang, bang, and tomato sauce, they'll simmer it down. It's a beautiful fish that renders itself to being cooked in in any any number of ways. The only thing that stops stops it is your imagination. So.